We're dropping my dad off at the airport. He is leaving for a vacation without us. Please act more sad. Like you're gonna miss us. Bye, dude. So now we're gonna go pick up my niece and nephew. We're gonna hang out with them for the day. Elliot, what's the plan here? Am I just gonna pick while you eat? Yeah. Okay. Hi guys, it's Monday. Probably the most dreaded day of the week, obviously. Yesterday, I didn't really vlog that much because I was actually babysitting my niece and nephew. We were like playing outside and these two neighbor kids were playing outside too. But like these neighbor kids, I'm just gonna be open and honest about it. I don't like them. I don't know like what he's thinking half the time because he'll be like riding his bike outside and granted he's like 10 or 11 so he should like know by now. Whenever I like pull my car out of the garage, he will speed and bike in front of my car and stop and just sit there and stare at me. And his mom sits outside and says like nothing to him. When I was a kid, if I saw a car coming from like 200 feet away, I would literally run to the curb. So same kid, right? We're like outside playing frisbees and our neighbor kid decides to get his frisbee and he's like standing like within like a three foot proximity of me and he decides to take his frisbee and throw it at my nephew's face. And I was just like, Anyways, I thought I would just hop on here and tell you guys that. Now I pulled up by this like nice place I like to run. I'm really sore from that beach workout on Saturday, but we'll see how this goes. I'm feeling motivated. I had a dream I could buy my way to heaven. When I woke, I spit that on a necklace. I'm so glad I'll be back in a second. Hi guys, I know like I look like a tomato. I ran like almost two miles. It's like so hot today. Oh my god, I was not ready. Now I'm gonna go pick up dinner. <sighs> Can I order the full Asian chicken salad? <laughs> Okay, we'll get that right in about five minutes for you. Okay, thank you. I think I just discovered one of my pet peeves is when people cough into the phone when you're on the phone with them. Like, it just like grosses me out. I hope he doesn't cough all over my salad. I'm reunited with my little puppers at home. I also got a gift from Innisfree today. This packaging is super cute. They just launched their new green tea collection. So I got some intensive hydrating cream, intensive hydrating serum, and a intensive hydrating eye roll-on. I'm like 10 out of 10 stoked on this because it matches my bathroom. So I'm gonna go put these on my bathroom counter. Honestly, it's truly the little things in life that make me happy. I've never tried an eye roll on. I'm assuming it's like one of those like roller balls. <gasps> oh, whoa, that's pretty cool. This reminds me of like a slug low key. Like, you know, they're like eyeball antenna things. How about we go for a walk? You wanna go walking? Yeah, okay. One eternity later. I finished my shower, so I thought I would use the products that I got today from Innisfree just to show you guys me using it. So this says apply two to three pumps evenly to face and neck after cleansing and pat for better absorption. So this is the serum and then I'm gonna follow up with the moisturizer. And then I guess I'll do the eyeball serum roll on thing. Me trying to be a beauty guru. Also, I took off like part of my tripod and I left it in the car. So I'm standing on my knees trying to do this right now. Oh, it smells good. It smells like really refreshing. Wow. Padding for maximum absorption. Then we're going in with the hydrating cream. Oh, this is supposed to go after eye care. So we'll do that after. Now we're gonna do the roll ball thing. Oh, it really looks like a snail. Okay, I'll just roll it. Oh, this feels really nice. I always see people doing that with like the jade rollers or whatever they're called. All right. Ugh, I'm just like digging this smell. Hi. Oh my God, you're so fluffy. You're so fluffy, I'm gonna die. You're so fluffy, I'm gonna die. Okay, we're good. My face smells delicious. Now I'm gonna go eat and watch the angel game. All right, so this is the Togo salad that I'm like in love with. It's pretty simple. It just has like carrots, cabbage, lettuce, and chicken in it and green onions. I'm like obsessed with this and we've got the game on. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. It's Tuesday and I wanted to start this morning off by showing you how my skin looks after using the Innisfree green tea collection. It's actually very 
moisturized. We're getting really up close and personal this morning. My skin feels like very like firm. You can kind of see it's a little more like shiny than it is normally because my skin's always so like flaky and dry. So I guess I would recommend. But I'm gonna get ready. Me and my mom are actually gonna go get Indian food together. That's like our one food that we like love to eat when my dad's gone because he's not into Indian food, but we are. So whenever he's gone, we take advantage of it. I guess it's a thing like during lunch. Restaurants do like a lunch buffet. So there's like a nice array of stuff, but like I usually stick to like the chicken tikka masala, which I would say is equivalent to like the California roll of sushi. So it's like the beginner food. Hello, hello. I'm at the Grove right now. Everything happened so fast. Plans got like pushed forward. I'm gonna meet up with another influencer. We're gonna take some photos on like the rooftop. So we'll see how that goes. And then after that, I'm probably going to go to my brother's restaurant to visit him, take some photos and chill till traffic's done. So the girl's kind of running late. So I'm just chilling in the parking lot. I guess I'll show you guys the view. It's like gorgeous outside. It's like kind of sketchy cause I'm like in a car by myself, like on a level where there's like I have other cars, so it's kind of like sketch. Risking it for the biscuit, let me tell ya. Low key that view, I overhyped it a bit. It looks pretty from sitting in my car and like the ledge is like blocking all the ugly part on the bottom. Let me show you what I'm talking about. That looks pretty. I guess me trying to justify what I just said, but it does look pretty. And then you just like look over the edge and it's just like all construction. That's literally LA for you. But yeah, so I guess I'll just sit here and talk to myself until she gets here. This is Channel's Television's Breaking News. How was your first earthquake experience? Let's go back to sleep, okay? Hi guys, there was an earthquake that shook me this morning. <laughs> Stay woke fam. And like I also didn't realize that I recorded a video last night. I guess I was like sleep talking, recording, I don't know. But now I have a doctor's appointment to do a checkup on my knee. I'm really hoping that this is like the last checkup I have to do because I just want to live life. Hello, I, I... finished my doctor's appointment. Good news. I don't have to go back anymore and I don't have to go to physical therapy anymore. I went to the coffee shop. So I sat outside and I had like a hot latte. So it was in a, like a cup and a bug flew in it. That was cool. I'm getting gas right now and I'm going to head home, go running, go home, shower, and then pick up my dad from the airport in a matter of like two hours and somehow squeeze in food. But I don't have any food in my fridge. So I literally have like the mentality of a college kid. We're like, I'm hungry. I'm like, yeah, I'll go home and eat, but like, nothing's in my fridge. So, like, I don't really know what the situation's gonna be. Okay, bye. <laughs> You guys, I have been watching American Idol and for some reason now I think I'm an amazing singer. I'm totally tone deaf, so I know I'm not a great singer. I think it's like in between channels. I'm getting some country and some rap. Country and rap, eh? I got the horses in the back. I'm leaving really late, but I'm gonna be on time. Thank goodness. This is my lunch. A bag of Hawaii sweet potato chips. Like, what is wrong with me? And I don't even have my shoes on. I haven't brushed my hair. Welcome to Ratchet City, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go get my dad. He's gonna be so proud of his work. I'm sitting between post 12 and 13. Wait, I, is it today or tomorrow? Today. I thought you said you're coming home tomorrow. No, where are you at? 
No, I'm just kidding. I'm on my way. That's fine. So, worst daughter award goes to me. I was like messing around so much that I wasn't listening to where he said he was sitting. So, now I don't know where he's sitting. I'm sure he's so excited to be home. Oh, no. Wait, where am I going? It's currently 8.30 and I'm making breakfast and then me and my mom are gonna head out. We are actually gonna go hiking with Casey and her mom. Okay, wait, is it just me or is this avocado seed like obnoxiously big compared to the actual avocado? I am like so confused right now. <laughs> this is like not normal. Big seed energy. At this point, I know you're probably wondering, does she eat anything except for avocado toast for breakfast? And the answer is no. <laughs> if you know me, I can't cook. So this requires like minimal cooking. Today I'm using sprouted bread bread so good but yeah i can't cook little backstory on my cooking experiences i've microwaved a pop tart with the foil thing on because one i didn't know it was foil which i don't know why i would not think it was foil and two i was too lazy to get a plate and three i didn't know pop tarts were supposed to go in the toaster i put the popcorn bag in the microwave for four minutes once completely burned a big brown spot in our microwave and then set the fire alarm off Another time in college, I thought like the toaster oven, like the notches were like the level of toastiness and not the minutes. So I was getting ready at like 7 a.m. for class and I smelled something burning and I was like, oh God. And I go into the kitchen, my toast is like straight up black, this color black. We lived in like a place. We didn't have neighbors on one side. It was just like an empty lot. So I took the toast and I had acrylics on. So I grabbed it and I opened our door, flung it out. Probably not the best idea I've ever had considering that I littered and that toast probably could have caught something on fire because it was so burnt. Another time I tried doing Jiffy Pop, which is like that stovetop popcorn. But yeah, burn that, set the fire alarm off. This is as far as I can get with cooking. Update, it is raining outside. So stay tuned to see where we're gonna go what we're gonna do probably gonna go get some food I told myself last night that I would work out this morning and so I set my alarm for 8 a.m. It's now like 10 40 and I haven't done what I'm supposed to do <laughs> I realized that like I have to wake up and just like go through the motions without even like thinking about like working out because then once I start thinking about working out I'm like me I don't want to okay Bye. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Oh, black look on. Oh my god, my legs look so smooth. I shaved it for the first time in like a week because it's been winter and I haven't had to wear shorts. The other day when I went to my doctor's appointment, I forgot to shave my legs and I felt so bad for my doctor because my leg probably felt like a cactus. Let's go work out. If anyone is selling a new pair of lungs, hit me up. Honestly, I just want to talk to six minute mile middle school Leanne and ask her a few questions because I don't know how she did it. Back in high school, I used to bust it to the day. At this point, I can't tell if it's sweat or tears. All right, rested up, showered, headed out to Cafe Rio because they're opening in your Belinda. And my dad hasn't gone with me to an event before. Look who's coming with. My Uber driver. Who made it? So we got a steak quesadilla, a shredded chicken taco, a barbacoa salad, and a carnitas burrito. Back from a very delicious lunch. I ate my whole salad. The location we went to, oh my god, when we first got there, a girl was like passed out. <laughs> So there was like an ambulance and everything there. So that was a little worrisome. I hope she's okay. They ended up giving us a goodie bag. They gave us a reusable water bottle. This is always, always useful. I actually might keep this in my car for emergency purposes. And then a car freshener, a certificate. This is what I'm super, super stoked about. I've been wanting to buy one of these for the longest time. And I've just never gotten around to it because I have like a glass one at home. But I got a metal straw. And it comes with like its own little cleaner brush thing which is really cool i will definitely be carrying this around with me be on the lookout because i might be doing a giveaway with them so watch 
watch the vlog like next week if you guys want to enter i will either post details on youtube or i will post it on instagram so make sure you're following me on instagram to stay updated i gave my metal straw a go after washing it 10 out of 10 recommend save the planet hi <laughs> okay, hi. Before I end this vlog, I wanted to show you guys the best package I could ever receive. I'm like, I can't even contain my excitement right now. Obviously, you guys know how much I love Angels baseball or just like MLB baseball in general. And even though I didn't get the position with the Angels, it's like crazy to think that like life has led me up to like this point. I wanted to share with you guys really exciting news. I got a package today from the MLB. <laughs> I am working with them for their MLB Food Fest, which is coming up the 26th through the 28th. But they invited me to like their VIP night and they're bringing like all the most popular foods from all 30 baseball parks and putting them in one place. So you can buy tickets. I'll link the ticket site down below so you guys can buy tickets and join me. I don't want you guys to think that like this is like sponsored on here because it's not. I just want to share with you guys like really exciting news. Like life comes like truly full circle. So even though I didn't get the position with the angels, like I'm still working with the MLB, which is really cool. And I wanna thank you guys so much for your support. I'm just gonna stop talking and show you guys like the cool box I got from them. Here is the box. Ah, they gave me these M&Ms that say Food Fest on them. And then I got a Food Fest hat, super cute like dad hat. These are my favorite. And a letter from the office of the commissioner. Like, are you kidding me? I wanna share with you guys. Oh, this is definitely upside down. The menu. Here's like a list. So each ballpark has like one food. Obviously I'll be trying the Angels one. One, which is the Kung Pao chicken drumstick. Oh my gosh, toasted grasshoppers. But I'm just like super, super grateful for like this opportunity. So this is not like a flex or anything. I just wanted to share it with you guys and just say that I guess bottom line is that some things in life might not work out and it kind of seems like, why is this happening to me? Everything happens for a reason. And if you keep working hard, you can make your dreams come true. So that's my little spiel. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's vlog. And I hope you guys enjoyed it but i will see you again next week for next week's vlog yeah i hope you guys have a great week bye